Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. And we have Dion Fortune on the go at the moment. We're on Expedition 2 of 6. We're not doing too well. We had a Scottish sh uh, soldier. He shot himself. Uh, we had a native animal handler. She didn't like the way we treated her, her region and uh, she left us. Uh, so it is just myself, my bipolar nun, who's not, not a happy person generally. She is more on the lows than she is the high. And uh, we have a donkey. So uh, we're not doing the best, shall we say. You know, we, we've definitely had better starts. But as it turns out, we are trying to open up the last explorer on the portrait gallery at the start of each go. And uh, we need to find a Necronomicon. And fame and fortune doesn't matter on that. We just need to find this damn book. And if you're going to find a Necronomicon, having an occultist character like Dion Fortune is probably for the best. So anyway, let's crack on. We, as I said, are on Expedition 2 of 6. And we can choose from the Endless Jungle. Or we can go to the Monstrous Drylands. Now there's a hell of a, a lot of missionaries in the Monstrous Drylands. Uh, but the Endless Jungle does have a uh, shrine we can gift stuff at. Now they have reworked shrines. So that could be interesting and we've also just picked up a um a medal to let us move easier through jungle uh so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick the endless jungle we're going to try and find the shrine and throw loads of crap into it and hopefully see what happens when we put enough stuff into it let's do that after getting up very early i hurried to the harbor the crew had preparations left to do so i had one last pot of tea and one-legged hunter greeted me this morning. He told a story about a human-eating hyena called Snarfrattle. He hated the creature with all of his heart and wanted it dead. A handsome reward would wait for me if I killed it and brought back its pelt. We're not going to do this. We have different ways to be doing this expedition, but we will be having a, a hunting special or hunting challenge later on in this series. So uh, uh, I'm afraid I shall be refusing you, sir. I refused his offer. I would not allow our expedition to be sidetracked. I was on a close race to being in the first place for the club statue. Word about his this had word about this head spread in the city. Head spread in the city, and many people came to see our shipboarding. Who did I want to recruit? So we have Pharaoh Zashar, Manika Shaw, the trader. Good old Pharaoh. It's been a while, sir. And we have Scott MacArthur, the soldier. Now Scott MacArthur is a sexist, and we have two females. Or we have Pharaoh, who's just a trader and holds two and has some attack dice. And as it stands right now, we don't have many attack dice. So, Pharaoh, welcome aboard, sir. We could use a trader and welcome to Pharaoh's a sharp manor in our trek. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the ship was prepared to set sail. Uh, right, so we need to purchase some equipment. We didn't get a lot of money last time. So, uh, we, uh, we need to prioritise on uh, getting some uh, chocolate, it would appear. Now... One thing I will bring up very briefly, uh, something which uh, was in the, the latest update, Alpha 30 or, or uh, Update 30 if you prefer, is the campsite. A uh, portable campsite enables one to rest in great comfort. Now, once upon a time, the campsite was a one-use only item. It has now been rejigged and when you buy it, it takes you three days off your trek to set it up. You can then invest there for as long as you like and then you can unpack the, the campsite which takes another three days and take it with you, which I think means that it, it it's much more of a viable option to buy one if you have the funds for it than it would be to uh, just have it in your inventory to be as a one use item. It um, it was very expensive considering it was one use. Now, how much is it? See, it's worth sixty. So it's not the most expensive thing ever, but it is quite pricey in itself. So. As it stands right now, being on the second expedition and not having a lot of money, obviously the uh, uh, the chocolate takes precedence. Although, arguably, you could buy that and a couple of bits of chocolate and just stop every so often and take your time on your expedition and uh, and do it that way. I'm not going to do that this time, but I will keep that in mind for next time. So let's take six of those because we like... Oh, sorry, eight of those because we like instant gratification. <laughs> and uh, let's crack on. That will do. Just in time, the ship was ready to head for distant shores. Let us set sail on Expedition 2 of 6, Generating Animals. Right, always generating animals on the last one is probably not a good thing. Click the button there, could you tell? It's sped up. Oh, we also got the uh, the extra 10 sanity, base sanity, because we upgraded our 
uh, uh, none. We could really do with finding a shaman hut and uh, just clearing her of all her ailments because she's a bit, she will be a bit of a pain in the ass, I feel. In the thick mist of a rainy morning, a shoreline rose in the morning mist. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. Uh, so let's begin the expedition, I guess. Uh, we, oh, oh. As if by magic, as if by magic, we have a shaman hurt. Uh, fair enough, we're probably going to end up 10, 10, 10. We're probably going to end up using all our... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Items, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, to trade against this. Saying that, though, we do have a trader now. And we can promote him, just to get a slightly better discount. So let's do that. And let's enter the hut. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was a dark and damp inside, with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the training. Does he have any of the green mushrooms? And very slowly, the shaman got out a small crate and presented his wares. He doesn't. Okay, so let's cancel that. Uh, we did not come to an agreement with the shaman. That's fine. Let's have a cleansing. The shaman was willing to offer his services, but demanded payment up front. He promised that after his ritual, the patient would be cured of all kinds of mental sicknesses. Awesome. Trahagle? Yeah, not the best. Costum flares? Okay. Um, can I have a spear for those costum flares? Can I have two spears? How about uh, I give you a torch? That'll do. I think that's a good trade. So we're going to get the cleanse on uh, Sister Arena. That's still her name. And uh, we lose a torch but um, and the cost of flares, which I don't find too useful anyway, unless you've got a sailor. And we do get two spears, which will help in uh, combat. So that's good. The shaman quickly grabbed the offered goods and then asked who he should treat. Cleanse Sister Arena. She is a nightmare. The shaman began chanting. He seemed to be communicating with the gods. After a short while, we calmed down and we helped Sister Arena get to her feet. Not we calm down, he calm down. Although we were probably all dancing around as well, jiggling our bits, you know, getting in on it. You know, when in Rome or, you know, wherever we are. Uh, so that's that done. Let's leave. So, right. So it's a four region map. Uh, we can't really see anything, can we? We've got all these fireplaces around, but uh, there's no hills we can climb on. It's all very, very annoying. Let's, uh, let's just get let's get to the center of the uh, the open grassland we might find something else popping up oh that's useful okay let's uh, go to the swamps i guess oh we have a village how are they with us uh zero okay today we reached a village its inhabitants apparently were a clan of powerful warriors and protectors of this region we were not the only visitors in this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beastmaster had set up a few mysteriously covered crates. I just gave out the treasure. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. The villagers observed us with caution. They were kind and offered to help our cause. Right. As it sounds right now, we don't really have anything to, um, to sacrifice, which isn't good. So let's, let's try recruiting first. I asked around to see if any adventurous spirits would, were inclined to join the trek. However, not one of the villagers wanted to join the trek. They simply did not trust us enough. Okay. Well, let's let's trade then instead. So what can we get for trading? Uh, we can get some teeth. Why are teeth so expensive? That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, can we get um, some mangoes we can eat straight away? Two of them, maybe? Yeah. That should take us back up to top health. So that'll, that'll do, that'll do. I settled on a deal with the villagers. And uh, let's have a look. We can't buy anything, but let's have a look. I greeted the Beastmaster. This trader seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wildest local wildlife. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts locked away in a massive wooden cages. In a massive wooden cages. There's no way they will just added that. So we have the hyena, the gorilla and the tiger. No battle tiger or white tiger, that's for sure. Never mind. We felt welcome here. They remained very polite and seemed to be not disturbed by our stay. Still, best not to push our luck. I told the men to pack up and departed, as new adventures could be waiting around the next corner. Right. Uh, well, definitely nothing to the south, it would appear. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to head northeast, I'd say, around here. The uh, 
maybe there, there'll be a, a join through here i'm not quite sure but it's, i don't think we've missed anything we've we've explored as much as we can probably though though my look there'll be something around here usually is usually is uh, let's eat the mangoes and uh head to uh see i could risk it it's only 16 it's not that far it's it, it's a uh, uh, a lot of pl um, grasslands in between so we're not going to lose too much sand let's have a look let's have a peek you never know oh there's a panther that's for sure uh who we haven't aggroed yet thankfully Well, there appears to be a way through. I don't know how well. Let's go have a peek. Please. Please, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, at least it's only the one panther. What's he got? Ten. Ten health. Okay. Well. Mm, does the spear stack of anything? Oh, with most things. Okay. So, we have a spear attack for four. A power spear for six. That's all right. I like that. Boom. Uh, uh, repost for two. Can we throw in an extra? Yes, we can. Cutting repost for three. Leaves them on one. Protect ourselves for the one round on two. Hopefully, has a bad roll. Nope. Oh joy. All right, let's hit him as hard as we can. There we go. Cutting repost and some shields as well. We stripped what was useful from the remains, and we shall take everything. And, uh, yeah, we'll carry on. We'll carry on. Um, I suppose we better head north next. Check out what that question mark is. It's in the middle of a swamp, so I'm guessing probably a village. Just before I went to bed, Sister Arena started an argument. She threatened to leave our group if I was not willing to hand over some of our precious loot as restitution for all the vile acts she had been exposed to. What a cow! What a cow! Uh... Is that like a greedy trait or something? She's just angry. Why are you angry? You We cleared you of everything. Uh, can we compensate you with the help of the trader? I tried to come in agree to an agreement with, the, with her. How about the meat? You can have the meat. Animal tooth? Uh, yeah. If that keeps her happy, that'll do. With eyes full of greed, Sister Arena grabbed our conversation and went to bed, seemingly satisfied. You pull this crap again and I'm dropping you. Uh, we have a stone statue. Okay. Uh, well, let's get as close as we can. Let's go, let's go above it. We might be able to see through. There we go. Oh, wow. It's really spread out, this place. I examined the strange man-made stone idol. The ghastly visage see or visage seemed to look right at us. Its presence felt uncomfortable, and I desired to move on. I saw a few items by the statue. They must have been put there by people from a nearby village. They were sacrificial offerings, as it seemed. Oh, we have some che uh, cherries, berries, ready, red berries. Very cool. Let's take it all. We took what we could use. Sister Irina was visibly shaken by the encounter with the mysterious statue. Now, this will sell well back home. That's the spirit, Pharaoh. That's the spirit. Uh, right, so we could head north. Um, let's get up onto the hill and just see what's around us. As we sat by the fire, Sister Rena got up and stared into the distance. Without a word, she sprinted into the darkness and was never to be seen again. The last weeks had crushed her faith in our expedition. My God. I put... Uh, I gave you everything. I gave you everything. Look what you... This is how you repay me. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Right, okay. Well, um, I I would hazard a guess that we're going to have the um, pyramid somewhere in the north east. So um, I'm thinking we travel back down south and, and explore these question marks. Let's eat the red berries first, just to free up space. Uh, 61, 40 to that question mark. Takes us past the water. We could drown. That's the only thing. 40 compared to what? If we cancel that. If we uh, go to there, then to there. 42. For the sake of a shortcut, it's probably best doing it like that. Uh, uh, are, we, are we getting past it? You're just about. Just about. Oh, and another panther. Awesome. Uh, right, let's explore. 
We entered an old campsite. It must have been here for a long time. The skeleton of what must have been a French explorer stared at us through hollow eye sockets. Uh, let us search the area. I was certain there was something to find here. I told the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. We were delighted to see that one of the corpses was still clinging to valuable equipment. Chocolate and whiskey. Cool, let's take all. Right, let's drink the whiskey because we can't have the, the, the pace. There's so many animals around here that want to kill me. This is ridiculous. Um, we've got no way of fighting off this uh, panther, do we? We could leg it, but we're so close that he's going to go for us. So we might as well attack it now, I guess. Oh, God. All right, okay, so we have uh, 10 health on the panther. No, we've still got the spear mines. Let's throw the spear in straight away. We'll hold on to the spear. Uh, do, do the bullets stack? No, they don't. Right, so let's do the spear attack. And then... A, a double attack or... A headbutt. Well, let's do the headbutt and stun it. And then do the double attack. And hope to God it has a terrible roll. Here we go. No, that's 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 bad. And he's bleeding. Good times. Come on, let me finish him off. Oh my lordy. Uh, at least we've got another headbutt in. And um, we can hit him once more as well. Again, be kind. Or not. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, let's go for overkill. Give me overkill. There we go. Die. We stripped what was useful from the remains. Uh, let's take it all. Let's take it all. Uh, right, okay. So we're free to uh, go and explore this question mark. Oh, I did press that wrong. Miss click. Oh, we've got a shrine there. That's good. Let's get there. A shrine towered above us. Time had taken its toll on the structure and had eroded what once had been a majestic site. I could make out an entrance at the upper platform. We would have to climb up the outer walls in order to reach it. The structure showed some long cracks, but it seemed secure enough to explore. Well, we don't have any rope, which is a rarity, to be honest with you, so we'll just have to climb up without safety. Ah, oh, which we managed to do. Never doubted myself for a second. Leaving empty-handed was not an option. One after one, we carefully started to climb the towering shrine. Faith smiled upon us. A few moments before sundown, we scoured the shrine and were happy that no one got injured. Cool. We, ent we carefully entered a well-preserved ceremonial chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. Gold. Okay, uh, so we'll take the gold, we'll take the jewels, we'll scrap the meat. Because we're not fools. There we go. And we'll close that. This was not a day of hesitation. We took what we came for. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We hurried outside as the shrine was swallowed by the earth and huge mountains erupted from the ground. Oh, ah, oh, oh, It destroyed that question mark. Rubbish. Rubbish. Thankfully, we've still got a way of getting up to uh, ours. So, um, we need 67. Let's uh, eat enough to cover that. 67, 65, 69. Arguably, would it be better to go around than it would be? It probably would, wouldn't it? Because we're not going to be forced to maybe drown. So let's go the long way around. Where are we? There we are. So there it is. Just me and Pharaoh. And what's the name of the donkey? Miss Catley. Doing our thing. Oh, cancel, 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 cancel. We have a stone statue. Missed you. I came across a fascinating overgrown rock statue. The skillfully crafted eyes seemed to focus on us. It was a disconcerting sight and I desired to move on. I saw a few items by the statue. They must have been put there by the natives of this region. They were sacrificial offerings as it seemed. Uh, let's examine. Uh, torches and berries. Well, not one to turn stuff like that down. We took what was useful to us from the sacrificial offerings. More! We need more riches! Okay, Pharaoh, keep your pants on. Let's eat the berries and carry on. 37, 37. Doesn't really matter, does it? 41. Might as well go to the north of it. We could travel down and get the uh, the butterflies. Probably not worth it, generally. Ah, right, there's the pyramid. Uh, I'm feeling comfortable enough to uh, eat some chocolate and... Uh, 
check out these two question marks see if we can find the Necronomicon we might be lucky we might not let's have a gander we approached a cave the entrance seemed to lead deep into the mountain we required a torch in order to venture into its depths let's have a look we lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a chamber. The walls were covered with perfectly conserved prehistoric paintings that depicted a route to an isolated region many miles away. We made sure to document them for all for later research. See? It's worth doing it. If you can, it's it's worth just going and have a look around. Totes worth it. Totes worth it. Uh, let's eat two more chocolate and go to the last question mark. Again, it helps towards the region points as well. We don't really need to worry about getting to there. Let's just have one more piece of chocolate and, and get home. Get back as soon as we can. And explore. And there was the Golden Pyramid enthroned above the landscape. Overcoming all the obstacles, we had yet survived. Hooray, hooray. After all this hardship, great joy overcame me. I knew that this name, Dion Fortune, would go down in the annals of world history. To history! To history. So, success. We're doing okay on fame. Nothing to worry about too much there. Uh, we found the Golden Pyramid, so we get the monies off on that, or the fames off that, and we came first, which is awesome. So, that should put us in a pretty formidable position. Bravo! Bravo, thank you. We made it back. So brave. So brave. What do we have to choose this time? This is wonderful. We have Spiritual Solidarity, allows us to rest for three emissions. We have Eagle Eye, increased viewing distance, which will be very useful now that we don't know how many question marks are in each region. And we have Polyglot, allows one to rest in native villages with outstanding costs and increases great gain sanity when resting. Uh, I'm going to go for Eagle Eye. I think that's a bit of a no-brainer. Huzzah! Huzzah! Right, once again, we are still in second place. Uh, I wouldn't say comfortably anymore, as the crowd is getting mighty, mighty close. Uh, but we do need funds. Again, I'm not worried about the fame. So let's sell the jewels, which gives us a bit of cash. Uh, and let's sell the gold stuff. Uh, the skins are worth quite a bit. Let's sell the skins too, and let's sell the mask, and we'll keep all the teeth because we can trade those on the next expedition. They, they trade really well. So we have 160 funds to buy some stuff to keep the trek. We, the trick is to keep the trek out as long as possible, because the longer we keep it out, the more question marks we're likely to find and the more chance we have of finding the Necronomicon. That is the game plan, people. That is what we're going to be doing. And as it turns out, uh, we're pretty well rounded next time round. We have uh, the Wahomey Drylands, the Dark Drylands, the Sorrowful Desert, and the Merciless Elephant Dying Grounds, which I think, obviously, is the place we're going to be going to. Because it's special, just like me. So, thank you for watching, guys. It's a much shorter episode this time around, thankfully. Thank, uh, from a couple of episodes ago, anyway. I know first expeditions are notoriously short anyway. So, uh, again, but thank you for, for sticking with me. <laughs> thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.